Hi guys, so this is the Senna clam kit which I was talking about. This is the universal helmet clam kit. So this uh, clam kit is about 6,999, uh, 7,000 for this clam kit. And uh, <clears throat> this clam kit, what is the use of this clam kit is, uh, it has only uh, the uh, Senna clamp with the microphone the speakers and the thing to to fix the uh, Senna on this so let's open the box unbox it and uh, put the box aside and uh, remove these so this is the clamp and uh, this is the boom mic microphone and uh, these are the headsets one for the left another for the right so this is the clamp and the remaining kits are here user manual and uh, some speaker sponges and extension for the speakers if uh, they're not next to your ear you can put this extend them closer to your ear this is another boom mic they give you an extra boom mic in case the mouthpiece is not able to reach your mouth you can stick this closer anywhere to your helmet so you can extend the reach for your microphone and some double tape stickers this is the wired mic and uh, the clamp to fix it on the helmet they give you an extra one and uh, the allen keys to fix this and uh, some microphone sponges so these all comes along with the clamp kit let's put all this aside and show you so this is my Shoei GT Air this is the the 30k Senna so let me show you how it, the clamp kit works so let me release this. This can be remote, right? So this is the unit, the Senna unit, the Bluetooth intercom unit, which can be connected to the clamp via these micro pins and the micro plates here. So this slides in and being fixed. So this is the entire unit and can be removed. So, why I bought the clam kit, all right? So, see, I can use on my Shoei, I can use the Senna 30K on my Shoei helmet. So, I bought this, another helmet. This is the Carberg Duke 2. I'll be showing a review of this. I don't want to show, I didn't want to show the unboxing. I'm just going to show the review of this helmet. I'll give you a good review of this helmet. So, this helmet, I don't have an intercom. Uh, this is my SJ cam microphone, wires and and all that stuff and my SJ mount. So I don't have a Senna on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix the Senna to this as well. So I don't need to buy an extra intercom. I just bought the clamp kit so I can use the same Senna 30k on both the helmets okay so let's go ahead fixing this clamp kit to my Carberg Duke 2 and uh, show you how it works on both the helmets so I have the same intercom on this helmet when I don't want to use this helmet I just detach the 30k from the Carberg I put it onto my Shoei when I don't want to use it on my Shoei I remove it and I can fix it on my cabug so I get 
both my helmets covered up with the intercom and I don't need to keep pairing and uh, using to I don't need to choose new every time go to the pairing mode and get new riders so I use my same intercom for both the helmets so let me go on to the fixing and show you guys so I've just opened out the cheek pads and uh, exposed the this part so I can stick the earpieces so let's open it out and these are the double tape velcro so I'm going to stick it on one side and and uh, the shorter wire should be on the left side so Yusena's clamp is all going to be on the left, so the shorter wire is going to be on the left side. And so the headsets are fixed on both the sides with double tape velcro which is supplied in the pack let me run the wiring so got the clamp aligned remove the screws so going to put back the screws so I got all the lining fixed back into place and the boom mic, 30k clamp kit, my 30k, the Senna 30k fixed. And I got this checked, both the speakers, the microphone, everything is functional. So I got all the lining, cushioning back into position. So nothing feels like it's been removed and this is my mod I'll show you that in a bit so let's close and this is a battery pack I got it fixed with a velcro strap and I got the wiring done you're wondering what is this red strip right so let me show you this is an LED strip which is flexible so I got it molded according to the helmet shape and it's got three modes this is the continuous mode and press it once more you got uh, the slow flashing mode and uh, press it again it goes to the fast flashing mode and once more you press the button goes off I checked this this stays for about six to eight hours so good for a night ride or an early morning ride which is going to get bright so six to eight hours battery two pencil batteries double A really worth got this on Aliexpress I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to buy this 
uh, I got this done by myself this is not actually a light for helmet but I got this done if you guys are interested in this you can get it from Aliexpress I put the link in the description okay so the main feature was the 30k I got it done so now this is my showy and the car bug I got the 30k so I can remove and use it on both the helmets so thanks for watching this video like share subscribe thank you guys bye bye see you in the next video Hope you like this video.